How are you guys today? It's Kyle. About to do a little ice fishing up here in Crooked Lake and Crivets. Uh, it's December 1st. It's the earliest I've ever ice fish. Let's see if we can get it done. There's about five to six inches of ice. I think we can get her today. I think we can get on them and get them. Stay tuned. All right, so uh, we set tip ups up, drilled all our holes, got that done in about 20 minutes. Um, had tip ups up, and then we set two of my homemade automatic fishermen. Uh, we got four guys with us today, and uh, we had one tip up trip. Uh, it was spinning, then it stopped. I think it's probably a northern or a bass that spit the hook on us. And then um, had an automatic fisherman trip, but I'm 90% sure it was just because of the wind, because it's a little windy. And they're made, I made them really light, so anything kind of touches it, it would trip. So here's what I'm on with today. My little buddy, Brian. And then you got Big Dad and uh, his dad out there, Digger. So. Hopefully we get on them today. We're gonna reset this tip up. And we're gonna, ooh, let me show you guys how we do this, okay. So, we got a Hummingbird Ice Helix uh, 7. And the traditional way to set a tip up is to use a weight to mark two feet off the bottom. Uh, and you use a big heavy sinker, kinda. And uh, we don't do that. We found out last year it's way easier just to use a, uh, XR, uh, I bought a same thing as that. That's a hummingbird. That's the hummingbird I see like seven. Mine's the five. Not much difference, just the size of the screen. So I'm out of breath. I need to run more. That's why ice fishing's here. Trying to reel in a nice, uh, nice little bass there. Pull him up on a tip off. Didn't think he hit him at first and uh, got him. So first one on the ice for the year for. Big Here. Brandon. And there's a snake that we kept right there. Uh, snakes can be called northern. Look at the teeth. Or not the teeth, but the gum and all that stuff. It's pretty gnarly. Color is pretty nice. They say cold water bass are the best bass to eat. But... For five minutes, we've had four hits on tip ups, one bass, a miss, a northern, and then we actually got a bullhead. Which is pretty odd, and yeah, that's pretty odd. I know, I'm pretty excited. It's been really good so far. Let's keep it her moving. five minutes since I uh, did my last thing when we got five tip-ups in five minutes. Uh, about a minute later, we caught this absolute slob of a bullhead. A slob bullhead. Just a freaking monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it'll taste right. good tonight. So right now we're entering into the late night crappie bite here. Uh, it's not really late, it's about 4 o'clock. It's been a while since I talked to y'all. Sorry about that. Alright, so there's one on the bottom right now. And, uh, I'm gonna try to get him. I haven't got a lot of, uh, like, live action footage, I guess. Uh, we don't really have the capability to do that yet. Or the money. But, yo, GoPro, if you want to sponsor. I mean... You probably will never hear of us, but. But some of these crappie are just giving it up. I mean, just, oh God, it's beautiful. <sighs> Gotta get down by him faster though. All right. So you can see my pole drop down. That's that yellow line going vertical towards the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it towards the bottom right here. And I'll pick it up in a second. There's one. There is one, boys and girls. Not a monster. Big enough for this lake. Add it to the pile.
God. I think that was the first live thing that's gonna go on this channel. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed, happy. So, I don't really know what to talk about. What do I talk about right now, Brandon? Uh, how... I did not think we were gonna get that much. No, I didn't think either. I thought maybe we'd check one of the keepers where we could snack on with our meal. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna have like a five course meal. Yeah, I know. We're gonna have legit. It's gonna be excessive. This will be enough to feed like three families what we're getting. I won't probably eat 90% of it yet. It'll be a small militia. PC, that's why we have midnight buffets. Exactly. Alright. So I'm right on top of what this seems to be a nice sized crop feed right here. Well, that other one's coming up to you, so if you don't get... There we go. Ooh. So Ooh. I have my drag all of a sudden. And he's drawing drag. Might be a nice one. Oh, yeah. Nice one. He's a keeper. You know, the Why ones on this link them? aren't as big as the ones you can find, like, way up north. But... For a lake use. and stuff, like, a lake that... Known for having a lot of fish, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Whereas, of course, you can go to like Mercer and all that and just catch just these monsters. Tell them. But... My hand makes it look small because I have monster hands. Oh, you hit it weird, it's sitting there just like. Argh. I'm just going to try to jig over here. Hey, Diggy! Diggy! Guess we got the new number one! Yeah! yeah. He got a freaking hog! Really? really? Yeah! Awesome. Alright, big zig. Way to go, kid! See, look at you, you're going to quit and be done, and look at you, you caught the monster racket! Yeah, and then, uh, the thing died. Did it? <laughs> How many more did you get? Quite a bit. Really? I caught three. Oh, but I had to throw one back. Oh, that's a nice one. Yep. Alright. That's a clobber. I, I, I don't care if we sit out here for a little bit if you guys want to do that. Right? Here we go. Oh, Jesus. A lot. Kyle's been hammering them, but the graft died, so. For you, yeah. I mean, I got my graft yet, so it's good. I don't care. I got four on that. Look at he's recording. Are you recording what? This is a professional fisherman. Outdoors. This is for his thing. Did Kyle you get the last Grave. one? What? Did you get the last one on? If you ever have an opportunity to fish with this man, it's unbelievable. He's an amazing man. The amazing. spot that we got right now in the fish and how we're doing it with him is unbelievable. And I'm 44 years old. He's <laughs> old. That's old. That's old. I like how you got your tip up to your, uh, so you can see it a little easier. Or you're just going by graph and then and then pulling. I'm just going by graph. Are you, are you, are oh, you I got watching? my tip up too. Yeah. You got your tip up nice and high. See, my tip fell out. I just completely went on feel. Yeah, that's <laughs> almost half one. Yeah, that's how I caught the big one. Balls. Did you get the last one on camera? I got three of them on camera. <laughs> really? Yeah. Kind of thing. They're gonna hate you soon. Wow, we were going to quit at 10. Wow, wow. 17 crappie. I have a right voice. Surf and turf tonight. Monk this spot. I know, you should technically still be fishing. You know? Oh my god, this <laughs> yeah. is the best time. You want to keep going I'm or what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I You're done. done. <laughs> Give me one second. Well, we'll pick, we'll start. Brandon, if you want to haul something, you're welcome to go start the truck. Okay, what do you want me to hold? Everything will go in there, but you got your rod to put away. Yeah. Alright, I'll 
our lo rod. Yeah, rod yeah fill up our rod locker. I'll carry that. And we got the automatic fisherman. And uh, I can carry the middle bucket too. Great. Why did you probably think that old? I didn't think there was anything in there. I'm out of here. Peace. So we're back at my dad's Woody's cabin. We uh, tied her up a little early, about 4:30 today. Uh, the snowstorm was just getting out of hand up here. Uh, we not we didn't have to drive very far, about I don't know five miles, but we didn't want to be driving in and whatever. And kind of some people wanted to get kind of warm, you know. So we're back here. Uh, all in all, today we got 17 crappie and um 17 crappie two northern and which the northern weren't great at all but eaters and uh the what's we get? oh we're gonna try bullhead tonight uh, i've heard that's really good so I uh, heard bullhead is very, very good. And, uh, yeah, we'll try her out tonight. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I guess leave a like or comment or whatever those YouTubers say. All right, see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.